What's up everybody? Back again with another reaction and it's time for another death battle. So this time it's Ultron versus Sigma. So that being said, let's get it. Like always, I've always you know like I have skipped the uh, you know preliminary and preliminary that yeah, preliminary stuff, sorry. So, you know, it's just gonna be the battle. So here we go. Duty fight. Hello, everyone. I'll accept your unconditional surrender now. At the risk of sounding cliche, you and what army? <laughs> Well, he really brought it on. Blew his head off. Beam struggle. That's one way to make friends. Despite Sigma's deviousness and ferocity, he was fairly outclassed by Ultron's talents. Sigma could scale to the general who took a face full of 63 sextillion tons of TNT, but Ultron can withstand hits from Thor and his hammer, and we all know how awesome that thing is. When Thor fought Gore the God Butcher, their battle created shockwaves powerful enough to shatter planets thousands of miles away. This could only be possible with a force equivalent to 682 septillion tons of TNT, over 10,000 times stronger than anything Sigma could survive. And not only has Ultron frequently smacked Thor around like a toddler, Thor has had a really hard time trying to damage Ultron's adamantium armor, so Sigma's weapons couldn't either. In terms of speed, Ultron flew across the galaxy in several months, putting him roughly 200,000 times the speed of light. That's leagues faster than Sigma, even if we scale him to Duo, who is 114 times light speed. 
And frankly, scaling to Duo through Mega Man in the first place is a bit capricious, as Duo didn't use his full potential in their fight. Even with all that, it really didn't matter who could punch harder or move faster, because the real fight was between the Ultron AI and the Sigma Virus. Right, and while infection and possession was kind of the Sigma Virus's thing, Ultron's AI was far more advanced. Recall how he enslaved an entire techno-organic race, to the point where he used them to conquer an empire spanning a whole satellite galaxy. Yeah, the phalanx are like uh. Marvel's version of the Borg. Hell, that means Ultron basically sigma a whole race of Sigmas. It also helps that Ultron is as smart or smarter than Hank, the scientist supreme. Hank's even admitted as much, and he's smart enough to construct an infinitely sized mansion in a higher dimension of existence. Sigma was certainly a ruthless schemer, but nowhere near that level. The only time Ultron was ever defeated by a virus was one specifically designed to bypass his defenses and leave him vulnerable to attack from the future and a bunch of other complicated stuff. Sigma was a tenacious one, but Ultron was the stronger android, the tougher villain, and the deadlier virus. It wasn't long before Ultron assigmilated him. The winner is Ultron. Wow. Hey, thanks for watching. If you want to get like, from funny fight, puns like every episode now. And we still have a few limited edition 100 episode posters left, so if you guys want to pick one up, just click that box right over there. All right, who's next? Roshi? Roshi versus G. Yeah, I'm sorry, I don't know how to pronounce that because I don't watch Naruto, so. I know you're going to say, like, what? You don't watch Naruto? No, I don't watch Naruto. Sorry. But um, I definitely will be checking that out. So, uh, anyways, if you like this video, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks.